hello good viewers and you're welcome let's solve this algorithmic equation so the question has us to solve log 72 or log base 2x 72 equals log base x 18 so what we are going to do here is that uh, i would let i will first solve this evaluate this left hand side first considering this that is log 72 power to x okay i will solve that completely then i will take the right hand side also okay so after that we get the value of y i will get the value of x we are looking for so now here so i want you to stay forward and see what you are going to do so now from here i will let this log 72 base 2x to be a particular variable let me call it to be y so now from here if you want to transform this to exponential form so the base here will be raised to 2x will be raised to this place a that is 2x raised to power y then equals what 72 so now from there so we can see that we're going to have 2 to power y then x to power y equals 72 right so now let's get x to power y so if i want to know x to power y here x to power y is going to be 72 divided by 2 to 2 to power y okay so let me call this equation one so now from there the next thing is that also taking the r h a that is right hand side log 18 have is x let that one be y so somebody will be asking why are we using y y because for the first one we did we have log 2x 72 y because these two from the beginning when you have equation it means that this and this are the same thing so if you must introduce anything okay so if this is equating to y definitely this must also be equating to y that's why i have log 18x you know because y so here we're going to have x to power y in exponential form will be equals what v equals 18 right so now from there let's call this equation what equation 2 so now we can see now that x to power y is 18 so now let's try to copulate these two together that is one and two okay so because x to power y x to power y so now equating we're going to equate one and two equate or compare equate or compare one and two if you compare one and two it means that since x to power y here x to power y we can say that 72 over 2 you can say that 72 over 2 to power what 2 to power y then equals 18 right so from there what are we going to do we have 72 equals 18 multiply by 2 to power y then we divide both sides by 18 divide both sides by 18 right so this we cancel this we have 2 to power y equals 72 divided by 18 that will give us 4 then from here we have 2 to power y equals we can write the 4 as 2 to power 2 so we have what we have y to be equals to so 1 y equals to 2 so now what we are going to do now is we are going to put the value of y we got this value of y we got we are going to put it put y equals to in equation what in equation 2 in equation 
2. So what is, where is the equation 2? So the equation 2 we have is x to power y equals 18. So x to power y equals what? Equals 18. So and we've already gotten our y to be 2. So we have x to power 2 equals what? Equals 18. Right? So now what do we do? We want to get rid of what? Of this square because we are looking for x. So this will be uh, 2 x to power 2 equals what? S square root of 18. So now the square root of 18, don't, get, don't forget we're going to be having plus or minus, right? So we have this cancel this, we have x to be plus or minus. This will be 9 times 2. So this is going to be x equals plus or minus the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 2. So we have x equals plus or minus 3 root 2. Right. So now from here, so which one are we picking? Are we picking the value of x to be positive or negative? Because we have x to be equals 3 root 2 or minus 3 root 2. So now the one we are picking is that in log reading, okay, recall that we cannot have what we cannot have log reading log the base the base of log reading cannot be what cannot be negative okay therefore x is equals to 3 root 2 is the truth solution okay and that's the end of the class okay so because we cannot have negative you know solution the base cannot be negative but when you look at this equation here you can see that we have our x to be uh, so we found found to be base okay so we cannot have negative base so that is why we consider the positive value of x so thank you so much for watching if you find the class very interesting kindly share this to your colleagues hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload a new content bye bye